I love most about um, these meditations is you can take them anywhere. The meditations help me tremendously. Dr. Thompson's meditations are different from any others that you will find because uh, they focus on um, the tinnitus, someone with, helping someone with tinnitus. You're not going to find that very often. It's all about the breathing. Your focus always goes back to the breathing. That's the key. Hi, my name's Melinda, and I'm from Arkansas, USA. And I've had severe tinnitus for going on a year now. Uh, and so in my desperate seeking of help, you know, to help lower the tinnitus or completely get rid of the tinnitus or whatever I could do. Um, you know, got on Google like anybody and did my searches and came across Dr. Dr. Ben Thompson. Um, and I learned about his Pure Tinnitus membership community as well as his seven day meditation challenge. Um, and I began that seven day meditation challenge uh, enthusiastically, you know, because I was really wanting something that could help help me relax and and find a way to lower the tinnitus. Um, so I, I just really felt um, a strong desire to do a testimonial about my experience with that. Um, the meditations helped me tremendously. Uh, I have actually put them as part of my toolkit. I, I do a lot of different things. Yeah, I do yoga, I do um, hypnosis, lots of exercise, I try to eat right, you know. I try to stay away from medications and things like that. Um, but as I said, I've gone down different avenues with this tinnitus journey and the seven, seven day meditation challenge was part of that. And I'm really glad I did it. Um, one thing I really liked about the challenge was that it was not only designed for the the beginner who's never done meditation but it was also um tailored to be you know to work with the person who's um very experienced with meditation i'm pretty experienced with meditation i've done it for about five years and i've actually created my own meditations um however dr thompson's meditations are different from any others that you will find because uh they focus on um, the tinnitus, someone with, helping someone with tinnitus, you're not going to find that very often. Um, his, uh, the way he has designed his meditations um, kind of uh, slowly progresses you from learning how to do your breathing, um, you know, through your nose and then uh, watching your belly rise and fall. Um, you know, get real familiar with breathing properly, and then you kind of um, graduate to learning to be aware of your body, um, any problem areas of uh, in your body like pain and tingling um, and sensations. Um, learn how to be aware of those problems in your body, but not uh, looking at them in a negative way. You know, just kind of. Um, being in tune with those problem areas and then going right back to your breathing. And then you graduate to uh, sort of more of a visualization process, which um, I have to say my very favorite meditation of all was where Dr. Ben takes you through this visualization of uh, becoming a mountain, which represents strength. And um, so you're this mountain and when you develop like intrusive thoughts or stories, you know, negative thinking while you're trying to meditate, um, you envision that these, these types of thoughts are actually clouds um, and your breath kind of makes those clouds gently pass by. Uh, even if your thoughts are about the ringing in your ears, the tinnitus, uh, the tinnitus becomes clouds and you just gently, um, with your breath, help those clouds, those thoughts pass through. And it's just a very beautiful meditation and I probably use that one more than any of the seven because it's just my favorite. Um, so in a way, um, you learn to almost befriend some of these negative um, thoughts um, 
invasive thoughts, uh, stories, um, frightening feelings about the tinnitus. Instead of pushing them away and fighting them, you uh, in some of the meditations you actually say hello to them as if you're their friend and you just have an awareness of these thoughts, um, not a fight or flight thing. And um, you allow them to pass, you greet them first and then allow them to pass and you go directly to your breathing. It's all about the breathing. Your focus always goes back to the breathing. That's the key. Um, breathing is a very, very, very healing thing. He, he teaches you that. Um, and so, yeah, you, uh, you learn to, like I said, almost befriend and greet these negative invasive type thoughts, you know, that you've developed, um, about different things and specifically about the tinnitus. Um, and then you just let them pass and you go back to your breathing. Uh, probably the th thing I love most about, um, these meditations is you can take them anywhere and they're free. So like you can, you can do them in the car. You can do them at work. You can do these meditations outside, which is my favorite because you've got all these wonderful environmental sounds like the birds or, um, you know, if you're like at twilight, you might have crickets in the background or, um, I don't know, whippoorwills. Um, and it just, you know, it just gives more of a, a peaceful feeling, um, and gets you in that mindset, uh, with, you know, doing the meditations and, and staying with that mindfulness um, and learning that even when your thoughts wander, you can come back to the present as you focus on that breathing. So I have learned a lot through Dr. Thompson's meditations and I highly recommend them to you as well as his Facebook community, uh, Pure Tinnitus. Um, You'll, that support um, is priceless. The information is priceless. It will help you a lot. Um, and I'll hope you join us. Thank you very much.